What is up guys? Today I'm playing another old game. I am playing Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. Uh, and in case you don't know, this was, I believe, the third version of Street Fighter 2. First we had Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior with only eight characters. And then came Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, which added the four playable boss characters. And then Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, which greatly increased the speed of the game. It gave characters some new special moves. And generally, it was just like a really well-regarded version of the game. Uh, after that, they did Super Street Fighter 2, which added even more characters. And then finally, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which is the version that's usually still played in tournaments. But this version still has kind of a, uh, a loyal following of people who kind of like the purity of the game. As you can see, there's no super meters, uh, so there's no super moves. Most characters only have one or two special moves. Uh, there's no, like, throw teching or throw softening. It's pretty much all just footsies, fireballs, uppercuts, that kind of thing. Uh, and it's a really fun game to play, so first I'm just gonna mess around a little bit, kind of show you guys how the game works, and then we're gonna jump into some replays. So I'm just playing Ryu in arcade mode. Uh, arcade mode is, you know, pretty easy in this, unlike in Super Turbo where it's like impossible. So, you know, Ryu has the classic three special moves, Fireball, Uppercut, and Hurricane Kick. Uh, there's Blanca, he only has three special moves as well. He has the uh, the rolling attack, he has the upward rolling attack, and he has electricity, which totally just zapped me. So I'm playing this game on Fightcade. If you want to learn more about Fightcade, go to fightcade.com. Uh, there will be more info about how you can play there. Uh, I also have played this game just generally in arcades. Arcade machines for this seem to be a lot more common than machines for Super Turbo since this kind of came out at the absolute peak of Street Fighter 2's popularity. Uh, and it's still really, really fun to go back, you know, and just get a taste of that that pure gameplay. No no gimmicks. All fundamentals. So I, I definitely think that this is still a fun version of the game. So, guys, I think you've seen enough of single player. I'm going to jump into some replays that I grabbed off of Fightcade.com. We can discuss those. All right, so in the first match, we have a classic Street Fighter 2 matchup, Ryu versus Guile. We're going to see first a button check, I think, and then they are jumping right into it. So there's going to be a lot of fireballs, a lot of sonic booms. Hurricane Kick goes over the sonic boom, always a great tool. Ryu pushing Guile into the corner, and generally, that's where Ryu wants to be. He has the classic Ryu fireball trap, just like that. If he has you at this range and he's throwing fireballs, if you jump... He can anti you with the Dragon Punch. Classic Street Fighter 2 gameplay. So Guile is having a really hard time getting out. He knows he can't jump forward. He's going to have to figure something out if he wants to survive this round. Big counter poke from Ryu. That was awesome. Still got the fireball pressure going strong. Oh, I like the bazooka knee from Guile to try to push back and make some space. And then anti-airing the jump in with a Dragon Punch. So classic, guys. This is like Street Fighter 101 that you're witnessing right now. Let's see if Guile can do anything differently in round two. Generally, it's good for Guile if a Sonic Boom and a Fireball meet because Sonic Boom has much shorter recovery. But the problem is, since it's a charge move, he can't throw them nearly as quickly as Ryu can. Uh, again, the Hurricane Kick, but he gets anti-aired with a Flash Kick out of one Hurricane Kick. But he's got the Corner Trap set up. Again, totally not where you want to be. This is usually a win for Ryu when he gets in this kind of situation. It's extremely powerful. He lands on a fireball. Wake up flash kick pretty good. Trades with the Tatsu. Very interesting. And then a raw uppercut. Looks like he caught Guile flinching. Man, I loved that match. I thought that was just like a textbook example of how Street Fighter should be played. Uh, but next we're jumping in with Balrog versus Vega. Uh, Balrog, probably the most extreme rushdown character in this game. He does so much damage. He's extremely fast, big normals. But Vega's got the annoying wall dive, and he's got long pokes, so he's probably going to be trying to keep Balrog at arm's length. So he's sticking out the claw, he's sticking out the low uh, kicks, trying whatever he can to keep Balrog off of him. But as soon as Balrog gets in, you know there's going to be a lot of damage. 
Vega actually gets the dizzy. Uh, dizzy meter is very low in this game. It does not take a lot to dizzy the opponent. Uh, there's Balrog's turn punch, another extremely good move in this game. I believe it's fireball and strike invincible, so it's pretty good to just throw out whenever you have it charged. Pretty close round. Vega trying his best to keep him away, and then Balrog whiffs an uppercut. It looks like maybe a throw setup, uh, but Vega hits him out of it. Balrog's throw is extremely strong. It's a noogie throw, meaning you both have to mash to try to maximize your damage or minimize the damage if you're the one being thrown. So we'll probably see a few of those in this match. Uh, once again, Vega with really good pokes, but Bog has him swept in the corner. Let's see if he can capitalize. There's that throw. So much damage, and usually he gets a setup afterwards. We'll see if he manages to get anything. Goes for the turn punch. Not much happening off that. But he has a big life lead. Oh, swept out of the rush punch by Vega. Vega's slide sweep has always been really, really good. And you can see the claw reaches like half screen. It's ridiculous. Speaking of reaching half screen, Balrog's throw hits Vega from like a crouching medium kick range. Throw range is really, really long in all of Street Fighter 2. And again, no throw techs or throw softening in this game. So if you get thrown, you have to take it. And actually, if both players throw at the same time, it's random whose throw hits. But usually one player will have hit the button at least a frame before the other, and that person will get the throw. So pretty patient play from both players. Vega again hitting that really broken slide. Ooh, Balrog hitting him with the throw. Let's see if he can get a setup this time. So much damage happening. And he gets thrown himself. Like I said, both players have a chance of landing a throw. There's no throw techs. Ooh, the final tap. A lot of chip damage, but thankfully it doesn't hit because that probably would have killed. And he's stunned again, but Vega doesn't manage to close it out just yet. He does the rolling crystal flash and hits him. So guys, I thought these were two great matches. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had fun, and have a good one, everybody.